Hello everyone, so welcome to today's class. As we have seen yesterday, the test case for final preparation. So we have left only cutover activities. So in cutover activities, we have the data upload also we have uh, in cutover activities. So let's see what are the activities that needs to be done during the cutover phase. So cutover activity is so basically what mean by cutover activity we are cutting our existing system and we are starting our new SAP system we are working start working in SAP system so that is called as cutover activities so in that you need to confirm that everything that is performed in your legacy system or your existing non SAP system that is transferred to your SAP system so first make sure all of the transport requests are transport to the production productive system so every configuration you have done every uh, master data you have every transactional data you have in your um, like uh, existing system or your old system needs to be transferred to your production system so that you can start working on the production system so next step may be load master data in the product uh, productive system or production system so that every data needs to be present before we start working on our system next is load balances and open items in productive system so that is basically whatever you have open uh, documents that is open PR open PO open GR anything you have you should uh, uh, like uh, load those or load those items into like transfer those item to your production system Next activity may be uh, make sure the number ranges are defined in the productive system as you, you all know that number ranges cannot be transported automatically so you need to transport it manually so better you need to be sure that the number ranges have been transferred to your productive system then make sure your tax codes are defined in the productive system but this is again this is not a like um, our mm related activity but this is basically uh, related to finance side like uh, fico so they uh, like they create the tax codes and it is their responsibility to responsibility to move those t uh, that uh, tax code to the productive system so next is make sure operating system environment is properly generated maybe um, means you should check with the base system or the technical team that your system is functionally correctly and your system is performing well and there should be no performance lag or there should be no performance issues while your workers are working on the productive productive system there should be no lag like at a time how much um, users are working in the warehouses they are doing the perform uh, they are doing the activities they are doing the performances in the plants and all the things that should not like they are putting the um, documents like they are creating some PO they are creating some production order or they are doing some GR they are doing some any activities they are doing so that should not be like creating any lag in the system that you need to be sure about that so that is again it is not our responsibility but we need to check if there is something uh, like you see if there is some issues at that period you need to report to your base system or your uh, like um, technical team they should check whatever the issues are there why the performance is getting delayed or why the performance is getting hampered so they will check on that and they will get back to a solution or they will check whatever solution is there they need to provide that so these are basically our cutover activities in the cutover phase you need to be sure on that because after the cutover activity you need to go for your go live so in the go live you need to like um, in go uh, in go live phase everything should be correct like whatever you have configured whatever you have implemented that should work fine because everything the data and all the things needs to be there in the productive system and the business needs to run properly so that thing needs to be taken care of so that is all about cutover activities 
so in cutover activities basically we don't have much things to do other than whatever activities that we have already done in the realization phase as a functional prospective functional consultant prospective all the things that we have that we have sent uh, like we have configured and we have done the tr process and everything is moved to production we just need to monitor the cutover activities because all the data that is getting transferred to our system that is basically done through lsmw or bdc lsmw is a like a time taking process so we use it through bdc or any custom um, like custom program that needs to be done or needs to be run by the technical team so whatever data you have you just have to ask your technical team so that they will take care of the uploading process and this should not be done by any functional consultant so that is not in our scope to upload any data or anything so anything vdc or lsmw that all needs to be done by your business side or maybe from your technical side technical people they also don't uh, see about the master data upload they just uh, create the like bdc program or any other program is there they just create it you just have to see if the program is running properly if you are getting some error with that program or anything you need to report it back to your technical team they will take care of it so basically cutover activities is our watch out activity or we just have to monitor at that phase that everything is done properly everything that we need that is present in our production system so that we are good to go for our go live phase so that's all about cutover activities i hope you understand these points and uh, you you got a like overview on the cutover activities maybe this will be this might help you in the like uh, interview process so maybe some questions will be coming uh, in the interview that what are what are the cutover activities what are you doing in the cutover phase so you can tell like in cutover time we are monitoring the data that is already there or not we are just monitoring if some bdc is getting filled uh, which doesn't happen frequently but uh, sometimes there is uh, there is some kind of performance issue due to some programs are not running properly we are just monitoring them and we are uh, letting our technical persons uh, informing them that this is the issue that there is some performance issue or there is something uh, this uh, programs are not running or this uh, data are not generating so that activity we are doing in the cutover time that you might answer in your interview sessions so that's all about cutover activity if you have any doubt on cutover activities please do let me know in the comments and if you like this video if you like the information in the video so please do like the video and if you are new to the channel or you have not yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe it so that's all for today's class let's meet tomorrow till then take care bye bye and jai hind